it was such a big deal to me when you um, when you came on my program. You did a residency there for a week, and it it just uh, meant the world to all of us, and was very important. And one of the things that was so cool is that you weren't someone who did a lot of things like that, so it had a lot of meaning. You weren't someone that was always out there uh, on television, so it really uh, had a great weight for me and for you, Jim, and yep. for everybody at the show. And it was a it was a big deal. And then I find out that you had done some television back in the 60s and some of it maybe against your will because you're with buffalo springfield was pretty wild you're in an episode of manix that's right (laughs) (laughs) it is it is one of the craziest things manix a detective show with mike connors Mm. and he comes into a he comes into a bar to check out the scene and in the background (laughs) is buffalo springfield you guys are playing, but the camera doesn't even focus on you guys. No. And <laughs> this, pardon, I'm sorry if I'm going to anger any Mannix fans out there, but this kind of run-of-the-mill 60s show is going on that no one watches anymore, <laughs> and the real story is in the background. Do you remember that at all? Do you remember I remember how that being happened? there, yeah. There were a couple of those we did. I remember that one. Whose idea um, was let's get Buffalo Springfield oh, on that Mannix? Was, oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but I know that our managers thought this was a great opportunity. Right. To move into television. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever notice that, you know, we're kind of far back. All the action's <laughs> happening up front. We are 50 feet away from the cameras. You know, you know, I don't think we even looked at it. That's the thing is we just kept going. We right. Thought, it's like because we don't watch, you know, I didn't watch Mannix. Right. I was not a Mannix uh, fan. Okay, well, we're breaking but some I news. But I do know headline. what <laughs> Mannix looked like. Yes. I can picture the show. I've seen it. Yeah. You know. He had, uh, yeah, he was, al- his, he was always jumping out of his car just before it crashed. Right. I think that was his move. <laughs> he was, I think, in a Mustang, mm-hmm. and it was always, uh, <laughs> he would always, <laughs> it was about to go off the cliff because they had, you know, fixed his brakes or something. I think, um, I don't know how he got, uh, reinsured after the 35th <laughs> crash. But I was watching and there's, and it's funny because the 60s in particular is a time I'm fascinated by it because there's such a culture clash. TV's been pretty much more or less the same for a long time, just an extension of radio, same old guys writing it, cranking it out. And then suddenly the world changes, 63, 64, 65, everything's changing. And I love watching, uh, there was a show that you did, was it the, which? The Hollywood Palace? The Hollywood Palace. Oh, yeah. And the Hollywood Palace, and uh, and you guys are great, right? I mean, you guys are, it's, I can't remember what they played on the Hollywood Palace, was it? We did Mr. Soul on Mr. the Soul. Yeah, Palace. yeah. That's right. You yeah, didn't, it started you, with For What It's Worth. Yeah, and then For What it, It's Worth and Mr. Soul. And then you switched in, and it's, a, it's yeah, cool. Yeah, well, the tape switched in. They taped this whole thing, you oh, know? Oh, yeah. It was the record. And, so you it, were playing along to the record, but was there any live aspect to it? Uh, there might have been some live singing. Yeah, but I, I, uh, I feel like your vocals and your solo were live. Um, well, they were live. I watched it, and your solo yeah. feels live. Ah, yeah. oh, good. And in your a, bass in, player was uh, looking uh, the other way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's because he wasn't there, <laughs> so he had to use our road manager looking oh. looking the other way. So there's a guy who's the MC. And this is oh, the yeah. part I love. <laughs> and he comes out, and he's, it's very, what, kind of borscht belt, mm-hmm. old school show business. I, I'm not sure who it is, but he comes out and he goes, next we got Buffalo Springfield. These guys, <laughs> these guys have made, had so many hits in the last year, made so much money, they could buy Buffalo and Springfield. <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> you guys have to just, all right. Uh, and you can just think there's like, some 55-year-old writers in the back that oh, were told, yeah. give us a joke for Buffalo Springfield. Yeah, right. I don't know, what's, what the fuck is that? <laughs> That's right, they had to have it. But, you know, we didn't, again, Conan, we didn't even notice. Yeah, yeah. We didn't, yep. admit, that stuff never even, it never even got on our screen. Right. Because we were just, we did a TV show. 
It's like we went to Mars. Exactly. And then we left Mars. That's what so. it looks like. And I, <laughs> and I think it's, it's, uh, it, it looks like, okay, we've entered this world that you kind of have to show up at, you know. And yeah, so trust we're gonna, as yourself. We're gonna, and- yeah, we're going to show up <laughs> and we're going to do this. Uh, and, but we're entering a world that's, uh, I mean, I remember watching you guys on the Buffalo Springfield on the Smothers Brothers. And again, it was great. It was an amazing performance you guys <laughs> gave. But they kept doing cutaways to Tommy Smothers doing bits while you're doing for what it's worth. Yeah. And I thought, uh, huh, I don't know about that. That's, that's television. A, yeah, that's a pretty heavy song. Yeah. I don't know well, that you should Well, I didn't be... want to teach people to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> but he says, like, when uh, Stephen sings, like, there's a man with a gun over there, they cut to Tommy Smothers holding a gun, and yeah. the audience laughs. And I'm thinking, eh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if this is... It wasn't genius, Conan. It wasn't genius. <laughs> really? Well, I thought all television comedy was genius. Oh, uh, God. 